Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, today's gonna be a quick one. Um, there's a tornado watch going on right now and when I tell you it's pitch dark and there's a rumbling thunder going on, <laughs> I need to get this video done ASAP. So, oh yeah, there's lots of thunder going on out there. Okay, um, before I start with the painting, if you didn't see my last video, Tammy Anderson Art and I have announced uh, registration is now open for our workshop in Florida, Naples, Florida in uh, July of 2022. So if you haven't seen that video, check out the previous video or you can email us at fluidartescape at gmail.com for all the details. Um, we've had quite a few people signing up, so we are super excited. Um, there's still spots left, obviously, um, but spots are filling up. So if you are interested in getting the info, you can email us. Um, for those of you who don't live in Florida or aren't a hop, skip, and a jump away, um, you can think of it as a, I guess you could say, a mini vacation. Um, we've had a, quite a few people sign up, and they're bringing, they're coming along with their friends, so there's a group of people coming that way you guys are sharing the expenses of accommodations, you know, that kind of stuff. So think of it also as a little mini getaway with your girlfriends. Um, for those of you who want to attend, bring a friend, bring a family member, bring your sister, bring your brother, bring your daughter. I have a, uh, one customer, one client is bringing her daughter with her. So, you know, think of it as a little mini getaway because that's what Tammy and I are thinking of it as too. Uh, for the days that we're not doing a class. We are going to enjoy a day or two to ourselves and enjoy the beautiful sandy beaches of Naples, Florida. So again, you can email us at fluidartescape at gmail.com. All right, so what I have here is a little itty bitty 12 by 12 inch canvas. I can't tell you the last time I did an itty bitty canvas. Um, and the reason for that is I had a bunch of leftover paint and it's been sitting on my shelf for ooh, five, six months now. Um, they've been sitting here in these little cups I have. These are my Loli Veffi cups. I'm going to wash these out and reuse them. Um, but I had them in here. So I had three different colors and that was from the video. I can't remember the number, but I will put it up here for those of you who want to see it. I did a pentaptic, so five piece Dutch pour. Uh, and that piece um, sold and I actually just packed it up and shipped it off to the US today actually. So those three colors I put in this cup, mixed them all together and I ended up with this beautiful blue color. Now I don't know what blues I use so you'll have to check the video where I did the pentaptic and then you'll see what colors um, I used for this. All right so I mixed all three and I got this pretty color. And then I literally just literally grabbed, 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 grabbed and picked these colors. Are they going to work? I couldn't tell you. Um, we're about to find out, but it's only on a small little 12 by 12. So let's give it a go. So we are going to start with Primary Yellow by Amsterdam. Then we have Windsor Violet by Windsor & Newton. Then I have 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art. Then... I have Luminous Rose by Holbein and Iridescent Green Blue by Pebeo and topping it off, I have Blue Black Indigo by Atelier. All right, so those are my colors. Six colors are a lot for this little canvas, but I'm going to do it anyway. Why? Because I can. <laughs> All right, so I am going to flood my canvas. Hope I have enough paint, which is why I chose a small canvas because there's not much in here. It's only about up to here. So I need to have enough or else I'm in big trouble. I'll be right back. everybody so I I have very very little left like really a, very little so if you could see from the sped up version I was literally just 
rubbing my finger along the sides just to get the color on it because I really need to save the little bit that I have left in order to touch up my sides when I'm done because if I don't have enough, I won't be able to touch up my sides. So that would really not be very good. All right, so let's start with the yellow. And obviously because this is such a small canvas, I'm not even gonna do a wispy. I am just going to do a squiggle. That's it. There we go. That looks pretty though. All right. So I'm trying to get this painting done because, you know, I like to release a video every three days and I don't like to disappoint you guys because I know some of you anxiously wait every three days. So I said, nope, I got to go down there and I got to do a video. Even though there's a tornado watch out there right now. But uh, let's just get this done. And... I'm actually excited to see what this is going to look like. I really like the base color. It's very pretty. Um, that's the beauty of mixing up old paints, right? You never know what you're going to get. It's like, uh, what is that? Forrest Gump? I don't know. I've never watched the movie. Anyone here watch Forrest Gump? All right, last color. Why is it not coming out? Because I don't have the lid open properly. That would be why. All right, wow, that is some rainbow colors. Let me tell you, if this thing turns out to be gorgeous, it just goes to show when you do things really quickly on a whim, sometimes you end up with something you never expected in a good way. All right, so I guess I'll start here in the middle. It doesn't really matter where um, and just start one way and move my way the rest of the way. Let's see what happens. Wow, well, those are some interesting colors. I would have liked to see more yellow, but I was really worried about the yellow, so I kind of put the yellow at the bottom, and now I kind of wish I had put it, like, closer to the top. Um, but there's some of it here and a little bit of it here. I wonder what's going on over here, this little speck here. I might have to remove that, but... I want to see what happens if I blow here a little bit because there's definitely yellow right there. Okay, so that brought out some yellow and I'm really happy about that. Look at this blue color, it's so pretty. Wanted to blow that over the edge. What's going over here? Going on over here? Wow. Okay, so now I have just enough to finish my edges. Oh my God, this is so cute and pretty. I really like it. Okay, I'm not touching anything else. Look at those cells, super cute. All right, I'm going to fix up the edges and I'll be right back. All right, everybody. So I, I cannot tell you how much I am loving this piece. I just wish there was a little more yellow in it. So I'd say I try it again, but I won't have the same base color. But uh, let's just move along. I had just enough to, let me get that little white spot there, just enough to do my edges and not run out of paint. So anywho, don't forget to scrape your drips. I need to make sure I'm looking at the camera too when I do this. Scrape your drips and on all four sides, you get the drill. All right, do it all the way around. Come back 10 minutes later, do it again and do it a third time and you should be good. But look at that. I am loving this. It is so pretty. Now there's definitely gonna be shimmer in here. That's for sure. 
and it's dark enough in the studio right now where I can turn the flash on and show you guys the shimmer. So I'm glad I blew that part there with the yellow. It brought some of the yellow out. I should have put the yellow. I was really worried about the yellow, but I should have not second guessed myself and I should have put it higher up on the list. I probably should have put it there like so. That's what I should have done. It's okay, I'll may, I may try again and just make up a blue concoction like this again. Um, but yeah, okay, let me turn the lights off and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so flash is on. Whoa, look at that. Uh, wow, look at that shimmer. Now, did you notice I put very, very little gold? You really need to try and avoid, um, you know, putting too much gold because I did such a little strip and yet there's so much of it everywhere, but I love it. But if you put too much, it's actually a bad thing. So it, it'll just overtake the entire painting and it just won't look right. Believe me. Oh my gosh. I, I got to go over this again. I already did this spot, but I'm like completely in awe over this. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to turn. <gasps> it's so pretty. I'm going to turn the lights back on. There you have it, my friends. Uh, that's what happens when you do a really quick Dutch pour when you're in a rush. You end up most of the times with something beautiful you never expected. Um, so I'm super happy with this piece. I'd love to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Again, it's a 12 by 12 inch canvas, so a little guy, and it is available for purchase. If anyone would like to purchase it, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. So that is it, guys. Don't forget, if you're interested for details on the Florida workshop, you can email me and Tammy at fluidart.com escape at gmail.com all right whoa did you hear that i'm getting out of the basement <laughs> getting out of here um there's the piece from last video drying very nicely which has sold as well um now it just needs to dry but you can see it's doing very well wow okay i this thunder is freaking me out i'm out of here <laughs> Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.